Given the time, we will now move into the closing statements. Each candidate will have two minutes for a closing statement, and we'll start with Mr. Sharp. Here's what I want you to realize. For the past 16 years, the Republicans and Democrats have run the state, Democrats in general. The Republicans have not won a statewide election in 16 years. Not governor, lieutenant governor, AG, controller, nothing. Do you really think they're gonna win this time? Stop. That's not gonna happen. That's a fantasy. The only person who can possibly win on this stage is the guy you're talking to now. How do you know that? Half this room's here for me. That's how you know that. Thank you. That's how you know that to be true. This is the only person who can win. We've already seen the stats. The stats are right now. If I drop out today, guess who wins? Cuomo does. If they drop out today, guess who wins? Cuomo does. If you drop out today, guess who wins? I do. That's exactly how that works. The Democrats have been failing for the past 16 years. Republicans have been watching for 16 years, and they have no plan. Democrats have no plan. Republicans have no plan. You heard nothing but plans from me. You may not like those plans. You may think they're wrong or they're bad, but I have them. You might think I can change them. Then help me change them. I'm happy. I don't have a career to protect. I don't have a party to help out. What I have is a desire to fix New York. I focus on one important thing, your happiness. I'm a business guy. That's who I am. Happy customers means a powerful, very good company. Happy New Yorkers means you stay here. Imagine if you're happy, you stay here. You grow your business here. You grow your family here. And guess what? You spend your pension here. That's what I want. That's what I'm focused on in every way, shape, or form. You don't like my ideas? No worries. Help me fix them. I need you. I don't have the party. I have you. You stay with me. We can make a real change in this state. We can change New state to make a better New York. We can make a happier New York. If you vote for me, we'll make a new New York. We absolutely will. But remember something. If you vote for me, one of the things will happen. One, I'll win. And when I win, I will change this state overnight. I'll change the nation overnight. Thank or two, you, I'll come in Sharp. second and we'll still change. You, Sharp. Larry Sharp Mr. for Molinaro. a new New York. Thank you. Please stop. Mr. Molinaro, you have two minutes. You don't strike me as the happiest guy, but I'm happy that we are all here today, and I'm grateful to the League of Women Voters and all of you for being here, whomever you support. Listen, uh, I have spent every day of my adult life dedicated to making government function for people. I've served my community because I believe, as Bobby Kennedy suggested, that public service is a dignified duty. Uh, I began my public service career as a kid because I really wanted to change the way in which my community responded to the needs of people. And every day of my adult life, I've dedicated myself to trying to solve problems without concern for ideology or party politic. We've appointed people of every background, the best and the brightest, to help lead Dutchess County, the village of Tivoli, and work with us in the service uh, that I gave as a state legislator. Today, after eight years of the status Cuomo, we have the highest tax state in America. We shoulder the highest burden of property taxes of any people in the country. We have the most corrupted state government by any measurement. And we are stealing and defrauding taxpayers. And at the end of the- Mr. Sharp. We, everyone gave you the opportunity sorry, to speak sorry, yes, where you're going to afford Mr. Molinaro the same. Quite, Thank, you. Thank you. Chris. And at, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we need to start again. So I'm running for governor of the state of New York because I know how hard it is to live in the state of New York. I grew up on food stamps with a mother who struggled with mental health and committed every single day to inspiring and encouraging her kids to work hard, which I've done. I've earned my, my place right here. And today there are two New Yorks. They're the New York of the powerful, the ones in which Andrew Cuomo and those who pay for access get to make the decisions. I'm running for governor because I believe in the power of ordinary New Yorkers and the need to address the needs of ordinary New Yorkers. That means focusing on quality job growth and economic development that affects upstate and all of the state. It means strengthening education and providing services for those with developmental disabilities. It means confronting mental illness and the public health crisis of our lifetime, drug addiction. It means ensuring that there are greater opportunities greater freedom and greater independence for all. It means having a state government that's honest and honorable Thank and you, dedicates itself to the service of the people. I ask Thank for your you. support. Mr. Hawkins. Well, thank you to the League of Women Voters for performing this public service. You stepped up where the corporate media would not. Yes. I really enjoyed this discussion. I wish we had a series of them. Me too. Shame on Andrew Cuomo for not coming here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can throw us out for that one. Yeah. Please. Shame on the broadcast and cable corporations and networks 
for not broadcasting this yes. and for bowing down to Cuomo. Please give Mr. Hawkins his two minutes to speak. They're acting like state media seconds. for the two-party state, just yeah. like Pravda used to act like state media for the old Soviet mm -hmm. Union. Except it's slicker. They give you the illusion of choice here. They're not giving the people the full story. Look, I've been a construction worker and a teamster for over four decades. I know what we workers have been going through. Workers' wages are stagnant, but the rent, property taxes, health care, daycare, college costs are going through the roof. So I'm calling for a Green New Deal for New York. I'm the only candidate on the progressive left left on the ballot. I'm the only candidate for universal single-payer health care, for 100% clean energy by 2030, for the hundreds of thousands of good new jobs in construction and manufacturing building that clean energy system will provide, for fully funding our public schools, not private charter schools, for a $15 minimum wage upstate too. We don't have it. For stronger rent regulations under local control. Don't have the state legislature doing your rent regulations, for the state to fully pay for its mandates. And I'm the only candidate on the ballot that says tax the rich who now get one third of the income in the state. They need to pay more. The question in this election is, what kind of message are we going to send? Are we going to give Cuomo a free ride or are we going to demand more? Don't waste your vote on one of the two government parties. That's not going to change anything. Yes. After the primary, Cuomo said the progressive wave was, quote, just a ripple. Not even a ripple is what he said. Thank you, Mr. Hawkins. Ms. Minor. Thank you. I, too, want to uh, thank the League of Women Voters and all of you being here in the audience at home for taking the time to own your democracy. You know, I'm a lifelong Democrat and the, mayor, the former mayor of the city of Syracuse for eight years. For eight years, I spent time understanding, trying to work with the system, through the system, around the system. It's broken. We need to have real reform in this state. I worked with the people in my community to solve real problems, and we did. Highest graduation rate in 10 years, innovating our infrastructure, focusing on substance, not optics, in speaking truth to power even when it was politically unpopular. But New York State isn't solving our problems. We're not even allowed to have discussions like I had here with my colleagues, and I consider them colleagues. We're not allowed to have public decisions. If you elect me, I will end three men in a room governing, obviously. <laughs> But I will also close the political anonymous LLC contributions and stop the dark money and the pay-to-play economic development. And I will rebuild our state's infrastructure and I will bring open and accountable and transparent government to Albany. Because that's the kind of government that I believe in, that I uh, worked as, as a mayor for eight years, and that's the kind of government we all deserve. If that's the kind of government that you want and you want to send a message, I respectfully ask for your vote for me on row I and the Sam party. A vote for one of the major party candidates just will continue the unacceptable yes. status quo and unacceptable results that we are all having now. Thank you. Thank you to all of the candidates, the media panelists, the college staff, and our league volunteers for making tonight's debate happen. A special a special thank you goes to Jennifer Wilson, the State League's Legislative Director. It was her enthusiasm and determination to make this debate happen. I encourage everyone to go to the website votingnewyork.org to read more information about all the races and all the candidates on your ballot. And I also encourage you all to remember to vote next Tuesday, November 6th. Thank you so much for tonight.